Hey guys, Rex Hart here with another Awakened Chaos Error video. Today, I'm going to show you how to hit 2.5 mil on the light guild boss real quick. So the current champions that I am using on my A team is Hector, Scarlet, Gubeg, and Ernadil. My B team is Jacob, Marion, Shadowblood, William, and Opal. Now I know a lot of you probably don't have an Opal, but have a maybe a possibly a, a Bulin. If that's the case, I would swap Hector and put Hector in Opal spot here, and Bulin in the first team here. That would guarantee you probably even 3 mil, I'm not too sure, maybe you would have to try to, I, unfortunately I do not have a Boolin, so um, yeah. I'm going to show you the gear of all the champions real quick and the stats. So Hector's at 3.4k attack, 161 speed, 118 crit damage and 250 crit damage with 38 focus. He's in a curse set with some 2 off pieces now, I could up his damage a little bit more. Um, but that's okay. Now we have Gubeg here. Um, he's at 3.2k attack, 203 speed, 99.5 crit rate, and 278 crit damage with 43 focus. In a full Raider set, basically an offset of boots here. So obviously we could output more damage if I plus 15 this. And so on and so forth. Yeah, nothing too fancy there. Then we have Opal, she's in a assassin set, uh, 4k attack, 131 speed, 104 crit rate, 278 crit damage, <coughs> trap, 278 crit damage, then we have Ernadil here, he's in a full warrior set, so he's at 4.5k attack, 145 speed, 102 crit rate, 272 crit damage. Then we have Jacob here in a curse set. He's at 3.4k attack, 100 crit rate, 307 crit damage, 159 speed. And then we have Scarlet here. She's crit capped as well. So 5.4k attack, 156 speed, 100 crit rate, 190 crit damage, and 42 focus. Now you do need a little bit of focus on Scarlet just for the bleeds. Um, yeah, let's go. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, so, Ernodeal will not team up on anyone that does AoE attacks, so just keep that in mind. And so, we're just going to A2. Um, we will do the ultimate here as well, because Gubeg hits around 20k damage. Very good. So, make sure you always do a, a Gubeg attack when you can. And then that A2 from Hector will do a ultimate on Scarlet to get those bleeds and the wolf going. So we'll see here. We'll get the um, joint attacks going from the wolf. The wolf uh, does quite an interesting amount of damage, to be honest with you. And so the reason this team generally hits around 1 million, 1.1. And then my other team hits for about 1.2 or 3, give or take, on how good this team does. Um, some RNG is involved, that's for certain, with the curse procs, especially with Hector, um, with how strong he hits. And then, it's pretty straightforward, you just join attack it. Um... Use their ultimates when they pop up. Obviously, with Hector, if you are running a Hector, you don't double axe throw him. Um, so what you would do is you would do his ultimates, then axe throw, then A1. Um, also, if you're wondering how this T bar works, the bonus turn meter. If you notice when Gubeg takes a turn, um, the um, rage bar fills up quite high. Right. Um, it's based off their difference in speed. So if you are wondering and trying to tune it to your team, the the bar adjusts by the speed. So Gubeg will get to around 
300 plus speed, which will give him three bonus turns. So if you have an A5 version, you'll get up to four bonus turns per round, which works really well with Scarlet. So just keep that in mind when you're running the team. I do like the change in Gubeg's ultim ultimate animation. It's not as long as it was. They reduced it dramatically. Um, so if you're not too sure, make sure you just click on the I button and confirm that they are the buffs are going. Now I did try Jacob in this team where Gubeg is. Um, Gubeg overall, in my opinion, if you do have an A5, is a better suited champion to run here instead of Jacob. But if you do not have a A5 Gubeg, like I don't currently, um, Jacob would be better off in this team comp. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the reason why I don't run Jacob here is because I need him for the Opal team um, to help those duo attacks from Opal and Marion. So we gotta do what we gotta do, you know, to make it work. We're gonna throw a heal up on round five here. I don't know, it's Hector's getting a bit low. Last thing we wanna do is get Hector to stunned. Another thing is, once you get into the battle, make sure you're watching for Scarlet's attacks to make sure the bleeds are actually getting applied. They do get resisted, I've noticed, on some people's teams. So just keep an eye on that because that is a little bit of crucial damage that you're missing out on. Um, and a deal always do his ultimate as well. It hits quite hard, around 20k damage with that as well. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing it. So we should hit around 1 mil, maybe a little bit over a mil with this team hopefully if everything goes well. Yeah, and, and very important to have Scarlet crit capped, even though it might be hard, you might lose some attack or not, but having her crit capped is a crucial part, especially for how hard this wolf hits. You see the, the wolf is hitting for almost 5k per time he teams up, so that is very important. Don't stun Hector please, ah oh, he did, that's okay. You see. Gubeg will get a bonus turn. So depending on, ideally you would want the stun to go on Scarlet because the wolf will still attack even though she's stunned. But unfortunately it always appears to go on Hector. He just seems to be a bit squishier than her, unfortunately. So you could obviously adjust that by um, giving more speed or health to them. Hector should die here. Yep. And then we're probably going to wipe. Yep. That's okay. We're at 952k. Scarlet did resist. So we'll be able to get one extra attack there. That is completely fine. A couple of bleeds click off. There we go. So, very important here, you'll see that the plot here is on Marion Shadowblood. Every time you see a champion that has that, make sure you just A1. I know, I know it's tempting to just do ultimate straight away, but you need to get Jacob's abilities up as soon as you can. Um, we generally start with the A1 here from William. Nice. And then another one. Pull in Jacob, please. That would be nice. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Nice. So, the way Marion works, anything over 240 speed should al almost guarantee a join-up attack. Now, she doesn't always do that, unfortunately. Um, I would advise, also, don't use her ultimate until you kill the first, first like, level from switching over. Because it kind of bugs out um, here when you do it, just keep that in mind that it does kind of bug out um, like the reason why the true damage here as you probably would have seen there that the true damage would have changed dramatically 
the first one was she was probably hitting for like 88 um, true damage attack but once you kill the first one the true damage actually does way more so yeah let's keep that in mind there we go level 27 now we can do the ultimate take advantage of that extra damage Nice. Alright. This is a very strong and healthy team. So they do focus my William. William is in a revival set, so just keep that in mind. Um, they generally do focus William over the others, which is nice. Having uh, Jacob is in a, also a curse set. I don't know if I mentioned that last time, but having him in a curse set helps, especially with this um, this here, the intrigue three minus twenty percent, uh, minus twenty defense, max two hundred stacks. That's automatically losing um, four hundred defense when you get to the twenty stacks. And that's where you'll start noticing damage pop off, especially with the Opal team team ups. So keep an eye here. We're going to do a massive joint attack here coming up from um, Jacob and Opal. And you'll see how much damage those two alone do. Um, we're going to do this, the counter attack. Chuck that on Opal. Now we're going to man this out on Jacob. Just watch, we're at 1.38 at the moment. Now, if you have William on your team, you're probably better off just doing the A1 on Jacob instead of the other ones, A3 or A2. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, and then you get teamed up from Marion every now and then, which is great. Very nice. Nice. So, so far we've already done 3 million damage extra from just this one team up. Probably close. Just over, just under 4 million. Just from that. Very impressive. And that's where the damage comes from, as you can see. Marion came in a couple of times, but mainly it was between um a jacob and opal that was great join and tank nice and then we got another one very good nice getting all those intrigues up and then we'll be able to do just to keep an eye on jacob's ultimate here we can't do it this round but we can we can trigger opal Make sure we heal everyone up. Oh no, we got wiped. Anyway, some RNG is involved there. I think I just played that poorly. Um, so what I'll do, I'll jump out. Normally I order the first, first team because it does easier. Um, so we'll just jump back into it again real quick. Um... Basically, you can do it that way. So this is what I normally do on the first team because the only thing that you need to change is Hector's ultimate on and off. Is I just click auto. Right, we just click auto. This is as easy as possible way to maximize it. The AI is fairly intelligent when it comes to this, when to pop the heal spell um, and all that jazz. You'll notice... And Adil does his ultimate straight away, which is completely okay. So the only thing that you need to do if you do it auto mode is turn Hector's ultimate on and off. Um, for the pure reason of making sure he doesn't double throw the axes when he does the ultimate. So as long as you pay attention to that, you should be fine. So we'll leave his ultimate on. He got a bonus turn there.
very nice so up here when he does his ultimate you'll see here in a moment all right he does his ultimate that deal will not join attack with that ultimate because it's okay well sometimes he does I don't understand why he does sometimes he doesn't now you turn his ultimate off so he does 81s here nice this guy should get a bonus turn very good more bleeds see Hector does uh, Hector takes all the damage I don't understand why He's probably got the least amount of health out of the other ones. Gubeg does a lot of damage on his ultimate. You could even put him Gubeg in Avarice set to help with his ultimate. Um, mine's is a full rated set and he does around 20k. So if you put him in Avarice, you could probably hit um, way more than what I do. That's for certain. Make sure you turn Hector's ultimate back on. So you can throw that axe out. So if you had a boolean here, the way boolean works is the induction counts as an attack, right? So every time anyone attacks, you you lose like um, instead of losing one rage, you lose two. So you basically keep him rageless um, with a boolean team. So something like this with a boolean team is amazing. He was, he would have no rage right now. You could easily get up to round fourteen. Before you get wiped with the Boolin, um, join up attack. So Hector's gonna do his ultimate. We gotta make sure to turn it off when he does the axe throw. Alright, there we go. Getting all those joining tanks, very nice. And the bonus attacks, even better. So sometimes it's RNG related. This one should hit so much more than what the other one did. Just purely because of the uh, the amount of joint attacks that are happening from Hector. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Sometimes if everything goes well, um, it will land on Hector and it will grant him a bonus turn. So it doesn't really matter dramatically. This might be another a low damage one, um, possibly. It should be okay. We lost a bit of damage. We got level 25. He's gonna rage out though, unfortunately. I feel like we did a little bit more damage than what we did last time. So you see that? Skylar did 8 damage on the true damage. I got 211 true damage. Very good. Nice positioning. All those bonus attacks. Almost got him going. So we're just gonna do we're gonna rage out on um on Jacob this time early on because we got a lot of rage here. Doing pretty good. We should proc a bonus turn here, so we're just gonna A1 here. Nice. And then we're gonna rage out here and get the max amount of madness that we can. Very nice. So we we're just gonna A1. Nice, there we go. So this is where the RNG comes in. Nice. Get all those extra attacks in.
So we should be able to do this twice. Um, another one again, which will help us get us to the highest level. 25, 2.5 mil, or close to it. Um, I might have just had a very good RNG when it came to it. Because I do know my first team hit like 1.1 million before I came to my second team. Which was quite nice. Almost a level 30 chest already, and we've only been in this like round one, two, round two. I believe we got a joint attack from Jacob. Nice. Very good. Almost full rage already. Nice. They should cycle around quite nicely as well. Very nice. Next turn we can um, rage out with Jacob. So what we're going to do is do ultimate on Opal here. Then we're going to watch it pop off once again. So defense down this time. Very good. We will do a defense down on Jacob as he seems to be the weaker one. Rage out. He's going to lose the defense buff, but that's fine. While we're at it, we're going to throw a heal on. Nice, nice, nice. Doing good, doing good. We should hit 2 million with this 2 team up. Nice, with the bonus attack there. Joint attack's nice, and another bonus attack. Amazing. Actually, amazing. That's pretty good. 2.2 mil. Very good. And everyone's still full health, right? I might even beat my best score here. That would be nice. I don't think we will, but <laughs> we can always hope. Opal may get a bonus turn here. No, she's not fast enough. Hopefully we don't rage him out yet. Just yet. Hopefully not. Oh, close. Very close. Alright. He's going to rage out and wipe out my team, unfortunately. Sometimes I wish Jacob went after Opal, but hey, what can we do? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go for gold and pray. We're doing quite nice. Disconnect, come on. Nice, we're getting all the team ups from Marion though. Nice, we hit 2.6. Nice, we did it, level 35. Uh, we're gonna just uh, A1 here, because he's gonna rage out and kill everyone. Maybe, yeah, there we go. Two, almost 2.7, it is very doable, you just need good RNG. 
Um, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.